At E3 2001, LucasArts announced that Raven Software was working on a third game in the Jedi Knight series. The Microsoft Windows and Mac OS versions were developed by Raven, while the Xbox and GameCube versions by Vicarious Visions. Most versions were published by LucasArts, with only the Mac version published by Aspire. Preparing for final approach. Whatever's causing those transmissions, it's not showing up on any of the sensors. This Imperial outpost looks as abandoned as reported. It's as dead as the rest of Ketchum. Mon Mothma must be getting paranoid. She never used to send pros like us out on blue milk runs like this. The campaign starts 12 years after the Battle of Yavin, 8 years after the event of Return of the Jedi, and around 2 years after the Mysteries of the Sith, and follows returning protagonist Cal Katarn, a mercenary working for the New Republic, and former Jedi who cut his connections to the Force. Republic. To achieve his new mission, Katarn must return to his Jedi ways to stop a branch of the Imperial Remnant led by the Dark Jedi Desalm from empowering the army with the Force. Our scientists believe that they were trying to artificially infuse the powers of the Force into living subjects. Those crystals you're holding are very much like those found in a Jedi's lightsaber. Spast! But that's impossible, isn't it? You can't just give people the Force with a machine, right? Everything we know about the Force tells us that such devices are nothing but the fevered dreams of fools and madmen, Jan. But try telling that to those poor beings you found in that laboratory. To improve upon the previous games, Jedi Outcast was developed using the more powerful Ith Tech 3 engine. The hack and slash combat introduced in Dark Forces 2 was heavily reworked, becoming the main focus of the gameplay instead of the shooter elements, which brought a big change in gameplay. Kyle, I've been expecting you. Skywalker? You've come for your lightsaber. Yeah. After all these years? My... Jan's been killed by a Jedi. Goes by the name of... Desan. You know? I sensed a disturbance in the Force. I'll tell you about Desan while your trial is being prepared. Players can still use blasters, lightsabers and Force powers to engage enemies, but in later stages of the game, it is recommended to drop the blasters and go with the Force and Saber, since numerous lightsaber wielding enemies are introduced. The game offers three lightsaber styles, fast, medium and strong, with each style differing from the others in terms of the speed of attacks and damage dealt. There are also a number of combos, many of which are unique to the selected saber style. Jedi Outcast features a set of multiplayer modes. On Windows and Mac, players can play over LAN or through the internet, but combat is limited to two players on the console versions. Multiplayer works by allowing members of the community to run their own dedicated servers that players can join via the in-game multiplayer server list, with server owners being able to dictate custom mods, maps and player models for the server. Upon release, the game received largely positive reviews from critics, with its story and lightsaber comeback being the main praise elements. Since release, the game is considered as a landmark Star Wars title for its revolutionary handling of the saber. You should have known it would take a failed Jedi to take out another failed Jedi. Kyle, you were never a failure. Luke, I... I know. I'll be happy to hold your lightsaber for safekeeping. No, I think I'll keep it. Ha! I knew it! Lando owes me five credits. 